Space Force, Space Force, Space Force. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Hey, good. How are you? What's I up, man? Great. I absolutely <laughs> love this series. Season one was hilarious. Uh, I was so glad to get to talk to get to talk to y'all now for season two. Uh, I got to start off right from the beginning because I've had people that have asked me to ask y'all, what have the real people from Space Force been saying about this show? Because I know they've probably been reaching out to y'all. Have y'all have y'all seen anybody? Have y'all got to meet anybody from from Space Force yet? Yeah, a little bit. Um, I grew up in a town that has a, an air base there and my uh, my whole family are vets. And so um long story short, basically like when they get medical care, they go to the, the hospital on base. And so I've met a lot of folks in the air force or people who are transferring into space force. And because of the masks, they, no one knows who I am. But then once my dad usually says like, you know, my daughter, she's on space force. They go, Oh my God, that's exactly how we are. How you guys are is exactly how we are, which I cannot believe because we all play such <laughs> kind of idiots. So I, I think these people are smarter and more capable, but it's nice that they're seeing themselves represented. Yeah, I've actually seen them at the airport now. Like just two weeks ago, I saw my first uh, Space Force uniform like at the airport at Hobby Airport here in Houston. So like that totally oh, wow. blew, blew me away. Uh, ben, I got to ask, is Tony the best publicist in the world? Because I'm going to vote yes. Is Tony the best publicist in the world? I think he's actually incredible at his job. Yeah, I think he I think given the chance, he could be amazing. But without that chance, it kind of like it's like he keeps he keeps uh stumbling towards failure but if if he had the confidence to do it i think he would be really good i think everybody here on the zoom is good at their jobs their characters are good at their job i i agree and diana with your character and we are seeing some pretty substantial growth i would say in in season two she's really coming out of her shell she's really funny uh there's actually one episode to where like you're showing i can't i'm not going to say who it is but you're showing them a bunch of food i actually had to pause the episode there and run and go get some pizza and some cokes and stuff <laughs> in order to actually just even make it through the rest of that episode but do you have like a favorite episode from season two because we are seeing a lot of growth with your character oh that's a good question um i really love i love that ep that episode a lot with Lancaster and I really love the episode when um, the Chinese government comes to visit. Um, Steve Carell and Tofu and Drunk is just the best thing ever. And it was really sweet too, because at the end of that episode, there's a really nice moment between um, Aaron and Mark and filming that was really, I just, every time I get to, you know, have a scene, share a scene with Steve where it's the two of them and it's a little bit emotional and vulnerable. I mean, he's such a great scene partner and I feel like I learned so much about his emotional availability. So as an actor doing that, that, that little piece at the end was really special. Um, and then I think it's really special too as, as the characters and what it means for their growth and their relationship. And we got to give a shout out to Jimmy O. Yang for writing that episode. Yeah. It's also my favorite episode. episode. Uh, it's episode 203. Right now it's, uh, they're mm -hmm. calling it the Emmy episode. That's what they say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, I would I would vote for I would definitely vote for that dude what was it like to actually get to sit down and write an episode for this show dude amazing man we spent 24 weeks on zoom uh you know hours and hours every day every week uh for me it was a master class to have that opportunity to learn from Greg Daniels Norm Hiscock and Steve Carell every day you know uh it was very very cool to learn and also um just great to be able to take ownership on a show that I'm also acting in. I, I, I haven't done that. And having the chance to know everyone and <clears throat> have this amazing, probably the most talented cast, myself aside, you know, just like everyone on the Zoom and Steve, John, Don Lake. It was just such a pleasure to write for all these people, knowing that, okay, you can write something funny. You don't, first of all, you don't have to worry if they're going to botch it or not. If, if anything, you're thinking about, if like, I can't even imagine how they can elevate it, you know, through improvisation and everything. Um, so it was, it was a tremendous, tremendous pleasure. Now, I don't know if y'all have been down here to Houston to Johnson space center. I know some of y'all have, maybe some haven't, but I have, I shot there once. Awesome. Cause I was going to say, if y'all haven't, we're going to have to get y'all down here to Houston before season three. Well, we can even do that anyway. So it was so good to talk to y'all. Congratulations on Space Force. Uh, absolutely loved it. Like, seriously, I'm a fan. Like, here's how big of a fan I am. Here's my rocket. Yes. <laughs> Very cool. That's awesome. Amazing. Thank you. Take care, John.